But now it's time to see what's racing ahead and what's dragging behind in the reviews. It's the fight of the century as Robocop meets up with his arch box office rival, the Terminator. With ten levels of pure blast and action and new weapons to pick up along the way, is this the ultimate for shooting freaks? To previously console bound heroes together on one cart. And was it worth it? Well, yes it was. The animation is certainly a lot better than the previous games. Terminator, brilliant. Robocop, fab. They mix together reasonably well. It's all action, it's all shooting, it's all climbing up and down ladders and running along and picking things up. There's so much blood and guts and plenty of fast action violence. The graphics are lovely, the sound is fantastic, and action fans are going to love this a lot. The world's been threatened with eternal darkness and only a brave knight like yourself can undertake the mystic quest to rescue the earth crystals from the Dark King. Strap on your sword and get adventuring. Zelda really introduced Britain to proper RPGs, but that was action oriented. This isn't. It's very much a strategy game. There are a lot of facts and figures you're going to have to discover and it's a lot more complicated. It's just traditional fare. Guide your merry band around, fight the monsters, solve the puzzles, beat the big baddie. Fine graphics and fine sound don't really make up for the fact that this is rather dull in the long run. If you like RPG games, you get a kick out of this. If you don't, you won't. The dead have awakened in zombies and it's up to you to race through gardens, supermarkets and haunted castles picking up weapons as you go to save innocent bystanders from a fate worse than death. Well either I'm completely bananas or zombies is the best SNES game I've played in years. It's simply superb. It's great fun to watch, it's great fun to play as you make your way through the various gardens of your neighbours, saving them from the zombies that are creeping their way out of the ground. It's called cool. lovely 1950s kitsch. It allows you to pick up loads of weapons. The levels get progressively harder, but you're so drawn into the game, it's furiously addictive. A fierce battle is being waged in the world of consoles as to who will be credited with the world standard. Tonight we present an exclusive on the latest pretender to the throne, the Atari Jaguar, launched in America next month. Atari claimed that the Jaguar was much more powerful than the 3DO, twice as fast in fact, and uh, four times as fast as Super Nintendo and Mega Drive. It's got a full range of graphic effects, uh, millions of colours, CD quality sound, and it's actually the first 64-bit system to hit the market. Atari's joypad for the Jaguar is quite unusual. Besides the normal pause, start and main function buttons, there's, there's a 12 button keypad which will increase the number of options during gameplay. This all sounds impressive, but in practice, does this mean machine and its software live up to Atari's claims? The Jaguar arrives with five games. Ironically, out of the games I saw running on the Jaguar, um, the most enjoyable was Tempest, um, an as ancient Atari coin-op. But has the Jaguar got enough ammunition to blow its rivals away and prove it can be the console of the future? For a start, you'll be able to hook it up to the telephone and play games over the phone with your friends. You'll be able to receive information broadcasts from cable TV. Uh, things like full motion video will be possible with an MPEG cartridge, for example, as well. It's competitively priced at £199, but hold on to your purse strings because the Atari Jaguar doesn't land here until next year. Do you think you and your mates are the world's greatest game players? Then get ready, because in a month's time, Games Master will begin the world's first televised all-formats team video game championship. We're looking for teams of three players. That's you and your mates to compete on TV for the latest state-of-the-art video game prizes. We will be holding auditions to find out just who's good enough to take part in this mega mongus challenge. So once you've selected your playing partners, all you have to do is send in your application to this address. Games Master Championship, PO Box 91, London E14 9GT. The closing date for all entries is the 25th of October. We'll be repeating the address at the end of the program. Some golden nuggets of information beam down there for you in the review.